The Oncology Medical Home Patient Satisfaction Survey is one of the best things you can do to improve the quality of care in your practice. So often we as providers believe that we know what a patient values. This tool actually measures what a patient values. It's an opportunity for us to measure ourselves against others. It's an opportunity to measure um, physicians against each other in a practice. And it is the crux by which we build our quality improvement program because through the eyes of our customer or our patient is how we know what we're doing well and not so well. I think the Oncology Medical Home uh, Patient Survey is an, uh, an extremely important tool. At Florida Cancer Specialists, back in 2015, 95,000 patients responded to the patient survey. That gives a lot of numbers to play with statistically, so we can drill down on how can we can improve the practice efficiencies and quality of care and the patient's perception. Our administrators are very happy with the results and we are implementing changes based on the results of patient surveys, so we're ex extremely proud and honored to be part of it. Our team was tasked with coming together and providing tools for practices so that they are able to implement the oncology medical home with a low administrative burden and low cost. So one of our tools that we've provided to practices is the Oncology Medical Home Patient Satisfaction Survey. And it's become a, a gold standard now for oncology practices. We brought together a team of providers, patients, practice administrators, and patient advocacy groups so that we could all bring our perspective and look at what was important to patients for quality and value. The Oncology Medical Home Patient Satisfaction Survey is evidence-based because it's based off one of the CAPS surveys, which is the Consumer Assessment of Healthcare Providers and Systems. The CAPS-based surveys have been around since 1995 and provide an evidence-based survey both to hospital systems and providers. This particular survey takes a base set of those questions and directs them specifically to the care of oncology patients. Having a CAPS-based patient satisfaction survey is critically important when working with payers. Specifically, they look to us to measure how we are doing, measure against the nation, measure against ourselves, and many payers ask for a patient satisfaction score or survey. The importance of the satisfaction survey to our providers and patients is kind of self-explanatory. It helps us to better meet the needs of our patients, to better understand their wants, their concerns, and once we provide higher quality care, they will engage with us on a new level so that we can provide better outcomes for their care. Feedback from patients is very important in helping practices to identify gaps and unmet needs that they might not otherwise have built into their processes. I'd like to applaud Community Oncology Alliance in really trying to reach into the mind of the patient and find out what they're experiencing. So I'll be really excited to see what are the key insights and perhaps the, the roles that not only the community based oncologists, but also the payers and any of the other interested stakeholders can play as we begin to learn from that data set. One thing I really like about the Oncology Medical Home Patient Satisfaction Survey is very much individualized to the oncology patient. Other surveys are very general in nature and really don't hone in on the things that are important to an oncology patient. Surveying oncology patients is unique because of their care team. Once a patient comes into an oncology practice, their care for all of their medical needs are really overseen by that team. Those patients come frequently to see their provider and there's a lot of care coordination between other specialties and other services that will provide care to that patient. So we need to assess specifically those needs and to make sure the patient is getting um, what they feel is good quality care in that patient care environment. For those of us in practices that were doing surveys prior to this survey, it was usually something that we either came up with on our own to customize it for oncology, or it was a survey that wasn't specific to oncology, so it didn't lend itself well to providing good results. And it also just would give us results only specific to our practice. So we really didn't know how that stood up against other practices and what they were doing. It really shows you how your care team's doing, not only within your practice, as you can look at providers against providers, locations against locations, but it also tells you how you're doing against your peers so that you know what the expectation is from patients out there you know, across your region or across the country. 
I think the best part about it, though, is the reports. So it's great because we get great benchmarking reports that we can review and actually make significant change within our practice. So for our physicians, we sit down, we review our survey results, we look at them by physician, by location, and we're able to make some meaningful change based off of those survey benchmarks. As we begin to delve into this data and we begin to ask, what does it really mean? There'll be great icebreakers for us to go back to community-based oncologists and try and figure out what problems can be solved, being able to quantify those. And then lastly, but very important, is trying to figure out how much resource can the payer and the practice bring to the equation where it becomes worthwhile for both parties to be mutually beneficial for the interest of the patient. One thing that's unique about the Oncology Medical Home Patient Satisfaction Survey is that it can be used in all types of care settings. So whether that's a small, you know, single doc practice or whether that's a large hospital-based um, institution practice, it's specific to oncology patients and their providers. So it really can be implemented in any size or type of care setting. I think it's important to say that the patient survey is very easy to implement. It's free. It's not laborious to the administrators of the practice, uh, so there's no reason not to be a component or a participant of the patient survey. It truly is easy. For practices that are just starting out, start with maybe one location, um, look at your patient population and find out what you're most comfortable with. If you feel most comfortable starting with a paper survey to see what type of response you get from your patients, I think that's great. You just need to make sure that you're allowing time for someone to enter in the data on the back end to the spreadsheet so you can get your benchmarking reports. Um, if you're comfortable going right for the practice specific URL to do the electronic survey. I think that actually is an easier implementation piece because you get instant benchmarking reports back and you also don't have to have someone hand enter in your data. To implement the Oncology Medical Home Patient Satisfaction Survey process in your practice is really a simple three-step process. The first is to go onto the website and register your team. On that website, you'll list the team members, where your practice is located, and set up all the infrastructure to be able to collect the data. The second is get your team together and decide how you're going to collect that data. Are you going to do it electronically, or are you going to do it on a paper form? The third step is decide how you're going to roll this out and when. My recommendation would be to do the survey twice a year. We do it in March and October. We usually will run it for a 30-day period of time. We push an email link to all of the patients and allow them several weeks to respond. Once you have put the process into place, the Community Oncology Alliance team is there to help. They're able to tell you how to implement the surveys, how to collect the data, and some of the best practices that make it successful. Get started today at medicalhomeoncology.org.